nearly 2,000 years, the one greatest story has been told and retold in every land, to every race, in every tongue. Told by sign and by symbol, from the tracing of a cross in the dust of a village street, to the first Bible. And ever since, the great artists of all time have struggled valiantly to depict the life of Jesus of Nazareth. Now Cathedral Films presents the old story anew, told in the medium of motion pictures in full sound and color. Years of research, study, and discussion guided the preparation of the script. Every draft of screenplay was checked and rechecked in keeping with the highest standards of scholarship. Equal care was devoted to designing the more than 300 sets required, both exterior and interior, ranging from humble fishers' huts to the regal grandeur of Herodian palaces. The selection of skilled and qualified actors for the 232 speaking parts and for the hundreds of lesser roles took days of interviewing, testing, painstaking effort. Meanwhile, the robes and costumes had been designed in authentic detail from careful research. Extensive wardrobe had been provided for over 300 characters. location, the wardrobe was checked for accuracy and detail. Talent, skills, and professional equipment are the basic ingredients of fine motion pictures. Lighting equipment from arcs to reflectors, cameras, stationary, and moving. The wizardry of makeup the electronic science of sound recording. Buses to locations away from the studio, joining the trucks and service conveyances. Classes and a school teacher for young actors. And for all, a real meal by a make-believe Sea of Galilee. Finally, the film editor views the thoughts, efforts, and talents of many people reduced to a ribbon of film, out of which has come the wonderful story of Jesus, a living narrative of the living Christ. The night a star shone above a manger, his presentation in the temple, Joseph and Mary finding their 12-year-old son in the temple, listening and questioning the scribes and elders. You will see familiar Bible characters come vividly to life. Herod Antipas, Tetrarch of Galilee, Salome, John the Baptist, Simon called Peter, Caiaphas, high priest of the temple, Annas, his predecessor and father-in-law, Pontius Pilate, procurator of Judea. He will follow the man of Nazareth from the carpenter shop to the bank of the Jordan and bear witness to his baptism by John. He will see the shore of Galilee where Jesus summoned his disciples. He will witness many of his miracles. Master, cure him of his affliction as we know you can. Take heart. Your sins are forgiven you. How dare he speak so? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Blasphemy, blasphemy! Why do you question in your heart? Which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven you? Or to say, rise and walk. But that you may know the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. I say to you, rise. Take up your bed and walk.
Jesus preparing to send forth his disciples on their first missionary journey. It is Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> to the triumphal entry of the first Palm Sunday. You will experience the spiritual impact of the Last Supper. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the world, who has created the fruit of the vine. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Truly I say to you, I shall not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. You will see the trial before Pontius Pilate. They say you call yourself the Son of God. Who are you? From where do you come? Why don't you answer? Don't you realize I have the power to release you or crucify you? You could have no power at all against me, except it were given you from above. Therefore, he that delivered me to you has the greater sin. Crucifixion. The upper room where eleven discouraged, bewildered disciples were waiting. Because I could only say, they have seen, but I have not. Well, but if you convinced him, you know the Master has risen, lives again. I could not say I know. Unless I see in his hand the prints of nails and and place my finger in the marks of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I... I will not believe. Peace be with you. Lord, Thomas, come to me. your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. My Lord and my God, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. These are only a few of the scenes from the Living Christ series, now available for rental in your church and your church school. Twelve unforgettable 30-minute episodes, a total of six full hours of living scripture, the old, old story told anew.